guys, I'm coming to you from downtown Weston. Show around the neighborhood back there. Uh, I got that old burnout house I need to tear down for public safety. Uh, got the old Lewis County High School, our Board of Education High School back there, formerly. I think it's middle school now. I got the old Dairy Mart behind me, it's empty, uh, for sale. Uh, Keith Winden, uh, formerly Keith Winden's eye doctor office. Uh, I used to go there for years and years. I need to get, need to get new glasses. My good ones fell in the drink in the West Fork and my unfortunate kayak incident. Go Mark. And back here you got this. Now this used to be site of uh, apartment buildings. Um, you know, they're kind of not very nice apartments, but they're always 100% full, low income housing. Uh, but in the name of economic development, they demolished them and they sold this lot to Rite Aid. And I'll show, I'll give you a good look at this Rite Aid. Let me back up, show it to you. It's empty. It lasted 10 years and it went under. And why did it go under? Because the population of Weston is falling dramatically. You know, Louis Glass closed, Sharp Hospital downsized, uh, the label factory closed. There just ain't nothing here. Yeah, a lot of the people that do work here, or do live here, work in Clarksburg, Bridgeport. Uh, Catholic High School back there, and then uh, uh, CBS, you know, the town just can't sustain two chains pharmacies on on the same corner. So one of them goes under. And, you know, this building, uh, I guess it's, uh, the plan is to turn into a uh, family dollar. And I was talking to folk and they say this family dollar, they ain't even signing a long-term lease because they don't expect this building to last very long because modern construction is just cheap. These old center block buildings, they're designed to last 15, 20 years. And then they just moved to a new corner, new location. Uh, so when we get to talking about economic development in downtown Clarksburg, is this the kind of, uh, is this the kind of thing that we want? You know, the low income, what we may consider substandard housing was still bringing in revenue city and housed a few dozen people. They're gone now and the building's gone now and the building that replaced it is a cheap structure that's empty. That's the story of America, folks. Um, but a lot of towns are changing and people's mindsets are changing and we didn't need to change our mindset. Uh, have a good Sunday, folks. I'll holler at you later.